I just want to see Adrian flow. I really do. I, I think Peter's going to make life really difficult for him, but Adrian needs to play with that freedom that when he does, we know what he can do. He wins world titles. He's going to win tonight. It really is kind of, it, it's a must not lose. A point would, would stand him in good stead, obviously, but when you look at the point situation, it's looking likely that it would come down to next week's match against Phil Taylor. So all to play for if you're Adrian Lewis. Who will show their cutting edge in the steel city of Sheffield? John Parton, Stuart Pike in commentary. Hello, Dave. Yes, thank you very much. Really looking forward to this big, big game. Adrian Lewis, after three consecutive defeats, it becomes must win. If Lewis does win, it means that Michael Van Gerwen is guaranteed top spot without throwing a dart. Three points, the gap between Van Gerwen in top spot and Peter Wright in second, 22 to 19, but Adrian Lewis only 13 points, but that 16. double defeat in Birmingham, a big, big blow to his hopes of qualifying for the playoffs. Well, here we are in Sheffield on May the 4th, be with you, Darth Maple, welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be here on such a pivotal night of darts. 140. So many ways this can go for all the players. Adrian, the most urgent one right now. He's at the hockey. 100. Really, if he gets two points and he can predict that Michael might beat Phil, that would put him level there and that would give him a nice chance at making the top four. But tough assignment 92. to deal with Peter Wright, especially if he plays anywhere near what he did in Exeter. Yeah. Astonishing average of over 119, of course. But the first 180 for Adrian Lewis. When Lewis plays with freedom, he throws darts like that. 177. Adrian what a response from Wright. Yeah. To lead 32. Unlucky not to have the chance for ball. He made 97. an effort. Peter, but Peter, every opportunity now to hold throw in the first leg. And there it is. Welcome back to the Premier League from Sheffield, and it's the opening match of the night. Peter Wright against Adrian Lewis. Wright has qualified for the playoffs, but Lewis is still in with an outside chance. He needs to win here. Wright has held his throw in at the first leg. This is now the second. Well, that's how you take the wind out of the sails of your opponent. Answer the big turns. Maybe a 140 here. Yeah, so not quite as much as Adrian's 1080, but he stays with him, keeps the pressure on. Yeah, that phenomenal match in Exeter, which Peter Wright won 7 2. With that phenomenal average. And what's been a landmark year so far for Peter Wright? 140. Well, yeah, certainly the best year he's had playing darts and can add to it lots of time left lots of calendar left to master well despite the 180 from Lewis with the first visit snake bite he has the advantage oh, a good adjustment 80. didn't quite get away with it the third dart well, let's say he should have switched that once too 140, Peter Parr, 141. 141. For leg two. It won't be the easiest of uh, visits for Adrian. 75, not a tough ask, but under the pressure of you got to hold your throw or you're in big trouble already. This is a task and a half. 18 for the tops. One dart. 55, Peter 46. Therein lies the story of Adrian Lewis's Premier League campaign, I think. Hasn't taken his chances. Yeah, you have to be solid in those situations. 
And that's pretty solid, 46 out. Two for two on doubles. And now looking to try and run away with the match. Peter Wright here using a different set of darts to the one he used in Birmingham a week ago. 91. But the same set of darts that he hit a nine darter with on the Pro Tour at the weekend. And interestingly, talking with Peter Wright not so long ago in the in the players' room, he's developing two new prototypes, and One he will have four team. sets of darts to which to play with, and he will choose tournament by tournament which set he will play with, varying in weights as well, four gram difference between the darts, but he's going to have four sets to choose from. I mean, go figure, John. Well, I guess he wants to be ready for how he feels physically on any given day and be able to have that equipment ready in his hand to play with that he feels most comfortable with on the day. But it doesn't seem to matter what Peter uses. If they have points, they go in. Yeah, I guess you, you believe they work and they will work, and they have been working. Traditionally, in darts, we we're told you don't switch things too often and this and that because of your muscle memory and whatnot and you just your confidence in, in what you use. Uh, He's gone against that trend very strongly, and he actually well, has the opposite mindset, and it works for him. More people might follow that trend. Well, of course, we will see him in the playoffs for the very first time. Had some near misses over recent 16. years. Adrian Dupont, 121. A chance here for Lewis to hit back, though. Long way off. Yeah, he'll be disappointed 62. too because it wasn't a defensive opportunity. It was an offensive chance to get back in, and he just needed the one trouble to get a, a dart for at least the bull, maybe. But uh, instead, it's Peter Wright. It may be a chance if he gets this treble 20. It's the whole throw, but will still be crushing. Double top. 85. Adrian Newbar, 59. Double ten. Much needed. One dart at tops for Peter Wright Robert for three now. But we're back on throw. And for your information, that was not an easy outshot either. He did well to get 96. that third dart in. He's under a lot of duress already from Peter Wright. Didn't squander the opportunity to get the break back. Would have been very easy to miss that. Well, for Lewis, it's quite simple, John. Has 16. to win here. Has to win. A draw just isn't good enough. And then he has to hope that the darting calculator can come into play next week on the, the final week of the group stages in Aberdeen. 100. Lewis against Taylor. Wright against Van Barneveld. Their last games in Scotland next Thursday. One hundred and forty. Well, a steady leg so far from Lewis, but nothing too special. Right, not able to get too much to pass him, though. Maybe this visit. Uh, the little move to the right took him off. 100. The right has won the last. Four games against Lewis. Another huge crowd here on Thursday night. The Thursday night is Premier League night, and yet again this year the fans have responded every single week. Fantastic numbers. 57. Well, no pressure put on this 69, so should be happy enough. 14 for tops. 29. That didn't look too clever, but it will take a massive effort from right to punish. Two treble 20s for double 12. Is his goal. Again, he steps to the right, hopefully following this time. He does! Double 12! Well, in the last leg, he Adrian just missed a 125. Here he's just missed a 144. 
Getting closer. Oh, well, last dart in hand. And Lewis. Right smile Lewis. for Peter Wright, but he's Him on. not been far off for two big, big finishes. But the upshot is 2-2. Two, two. The, the nice thing for Adrian is he's getting well, results despite the obvious adrenaline and pressure that's on him. It, 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 it's not working for him, it's sort of working against him, but he's managing it. He's not 93. wasting these opportunities and he's back in the match. Well, the consistency has been the key for Peter Wright in this campaign. Lost only three games out of 14. 16. To Van Gerwen, Taylor and Anderson. One hundred and forty. But losing to Chisnall in Liverpool and then those defeats in Birmingham to Wade and to Van Gerwen really have hurt Adrian Lewis. And that'll hurt him too. Well, he just needs a 140. He was hoping to leave the 170 after that. 39. That was really Peter a rushed Ball, turn, not 21. too focused. Right, doesn't need to take it out. So he's gone sort of an alternate path to leave an easier double in the end. He's hoping to leave double eight. 65. Against the 56 left, but he'll be back for it. Ninety-nine, B2 bar fifty-six. So this time you'll need tops. In show the fifth leg. Peter Wright, six like he's changing to throw first. Be more. Three two. And that's his first successful dart at tops and uh, settle him down a bit at that target. Make of, of, of AD in this Premier League, he'll be the first to admit it's been a disappointing campaign because yet again it, it looks it looks at this stage anyway as a, he he won't qualify. Hit that fantastic nine data uh, in Liverpool and then suffer three defeats on the spin. Well, I don't think it's easy to play this for anybody and uh, you have moments of doubt and disappointment. And it, it last four months and. You just have to endure, and he's still in the in the hunt. So, if he can manage to get at least a point tonight, he'll keep his head up. One hundred and forty. A marvelous player. They both are. One hundred. Reminding you, win for Peter Wright keeps the pressure on Michael Van Gerwen in the the race for top spot ahead of the O2 in the semi-finals. Twenty-five thousand pound bonus for finishing 95. top of the league table ahead of those playoffs. I'm not sure that either Michael or Peter needs a bonus. I think they just want to win out of the pure competitive nature of the players they are. But yeah, it comes in handy, the extra cash. A smile on your face. Well, this will it. be a bonus. Break a throw. One dart at double 16. 48. Adrian, you require 88. And he's getting a chance he might not have expected and making the most of it. Double seven now, last chance. 81. Beat Still the uh, 16. adrenaline, the nerves, whatever, impacting his efforts. Double eight for Peter Wright. Welcome back to Sheffield, where Peter Wright is pushing home his advantage against Adrian Lewis. He leads by two through six legs and has the throw in the seventh. Lewis needs the win to keep his playoff hopes alive. Commentary from John Part and Stuart Pike. 78. Oh, wow. 
wonderful stuff. Would you like to see, okay, I failed in one turn, but I'm not going to do that again in the next, and in fact, I'll be perfect the next. One hundred. So another chance for Lewis to hit straight back. One hundred. Four two right. He's also missed darts to win the two legs that he's lost. One hundred and fourteen. Yeah, although Peter Wright is, is seemingly playing very well, he's a hundred average or more, but. He really hasn't 85. had full control like his play would suggest he has. He's Adrian's given chances here and there. One hundred and thirty-seven. Yeah, lovely last dart. Terrific visit from Peter Wright, and he'll be back with two darts to win another 45. one. Peter Bar, 46. Likely fourteen for double sixteen. For 5 2, double 16. Double 8. Game he really seven. loves that adjustment. He's so confident he's down there. Well, arguably, Peter Wright has turned himself into the best finisher in world darts at the moment. He's the best in a lot of respects. Michael is being challenged, not just by Gary Anderson, 100. but by Peter Wright in, in different ways. And yes, Michael is the world number one and the best, but it, it's a lot closer than the standings and the money winnings would, would suggest. 100. The talent, I mean, the performance level. It's, it's a very tight little group now we have at the top of the world. 100. Now we talked about Peter Wright's finishing. The scoring is a banana. Massive the, pressure on Lewis once more. Yeah, the timing of the bludgeon. Yeah. 65. Just piling the, the pressure 81. on the Lewis. You normally get managed to just get under 100. So this for a point. We'll be forced to go for 12s. So double 13. 55. And Adrian Adrian dodged a bullet 96. there, and he's got a pretty easy two dart out. Went for double double. Just nothing 56. working. Too much on him. Peter Bar 26. Well, this for four consecutive legs. Game show on the eighth leg. Peter Wright. 50% on the doubles. And that's where Peter Wright is week in, week out. Game in, game out, tournament by tournament. And he's now throwing for a, a convincing win, which will reduce the gap once more. Just a point behind Van Gerwen at the top. And it's the doubles that have let Adrian down, and he didn't get a shot for a winning double there. That last leg, but he was only two for two of nine. In the rest of the legs, and uh, really, you're not going to beat too many top three in the world players with that sort of a average at double. One hundred. One hundred. Looks like resignation in the walk of Adrian Lewis. Premier League for Adrian Lewis, a fantastic nine data. But he's bowing out, it looks, tonight. 20 to leave tops. Yeah, clinical, relaxed leg for Peter Wright to finish this. If he doesn't 
air. Even a single there leaves Adrian in as a, as a threat to clean up, but no. Well, it looks like Lewis's Premier League race is run for this year. Oh, just as we were talking, Peter right up over his doubles. Have another go at it. 57, Peter Rupar, 20. Double 10. Well, another convincing Peter. victory for Peter Wright. Earlier on in the Premier League, he beat Adrian Lewis 7-2 with 119 average. This time, more workmanlike, 100 average. But another win for Peter Wright. For Lewis, the end of the road in the Premier League this year. Peter Wright goes to within a point of Michael Van Gerwen at the top of the table. Barney, only a point behind Phil Taylor. 14, he's on, 15, Taylor's on. He could gate crash the top four tonight with a victory. Yeah, and, you know, it's so much either way here. And I guess we, Phil, he's had a good night so far in that Adrian didn't catch up to him. And he's hoping Chizzy kind of keeps Barney back from him as well. How do you see this one going? I, th I think this goes all the way down and uh, to 6-5 for one of them. And we're going to maybe get a draw. Wayne Marlon, Rod Studd in commentary. Thanks, Dave. Yes, unquestionably the biggest match of the night, the most pivotal match of the night, because two genuine playoff contenders going head-to-head -head here in contrasting runs of form, though, Same as Raymond van Barneveld in the last five weeks has picked up Came just on. two points. In the same period, Dave Chisnell has picked up seven in an unbeaten run, which has featured three draws and two wins, and the three draws should and could all have been victories as well. So the recent run of results points to Chisnell, but history says that Barney will find a way to get into the semi-final, Wayne. Yeah, he's made the playoff seven times, so it wouldn't be new ground for RVB. As Chizzy starts with a bang. That's a sluggish start from the pair of them. Carry on, fellas. Well, they are the two maximum men. Messers maximum on stage. Barney now with 53 180s. David Chisnell with 61. Yeah, Barney's preparation for, for this match was gallivanting around Monte Carlo playing darts and poker. What's going on here? I, I've no idea. Well. Well, that may come back to bite him. Well, it yeah, won't now, as Barney right wins the Barney. first leg. Chizzy so barreled in his second first. maximum to Come leave on. a less than magnificent seven on the scoreboard. Well, for the 180 backers of Dave Chisnell, they're loving that, aren't 96. they? Three in the first leg, two to Chisnell. That was actually more peculiar than the time you left. You hit a 180 to leave two, wasn't it? Against Kirk Shepard. That don't actually made more sense than Chisnell it. leaving seven. But anyway, lost the leg. Had Barney not hit that double top last die in hand, Chizzy must have almost wanted him to hit it in a bemused sort of way. Anyway, we move on. Yeah, this is uh, already been said. It's a huge game in the context 60. of the Premier League. All that's gone before. It all boils down to who can hold their nerve over the... Next two weeks. 174. It was the right switch. So what? What's your point? I mean, he seems to be... 140. Just hitting maximum for fun. It's exhibition stuff from Chisdall. Leaves 1-3-1 one, one this time. Yes, lovely. Well, unlucky there, Dave, to be fair. Right on 91. the outside wire of that treble 13. Leaves tops after a dozen darts. Great start to this match. Some real fireworks. Barney not playing Chisnell's game. Didn't fancy the third treble to leave 21. This is the aspect of Dave Chisnell's game that's kept him in this Premier League. So improved, but not 
Right. On that occasion, the last few weeks, his doubles have been his friends, but not then. Barney wants double 16 to steal. Oh, 50. outside, inside. Xavier Guadzen. Barney seething. Do not snatch the first dart, David. Nice and high. Or in. Well, you the mentioned Barney had been out in game. Monaco playing a spot of poker. He didn't want a pair of missed doubles, did he? It's not a good hand for a darts player. 100. Uh, no. Good last start from Dave. Using the previous two to crash off. It's all right, isn't it? 97. Seen so many good matches this year. 119 average from Peter Wright. 140. A few weeks back now. Been the highest this year so far. Why wouldn't he? His, uh, Real Madrid teammate Tony Cruz is a massive fan of the last, isn't he? Yes. Tottenham manager, Maurizio Pochettino also. Regular viewer. Good evening, Maurizio, if you're watching this evening ahead of the game against West Ham United. In the other Premier League. It's always hard when you move him right over. 50 you normally have to lift your arms slightly well, higher and throw firmer. Oh, Barney's in a bit of trouble here. Chizzy wants 72 for a break of throw. 60. Damien Rivoire, 72. Yes, the door opened by. RVB, 20 for tops, tops then for Chizzy for a break of throw and a vital break at that. 52. Just couldn't quite get it up there, just had some of the steam taken out of it. 57, that is 57, that is 2-1 for Raymond van Barneveld. He's got his game face on this evening. The last two weeks, so just looked a bit tired and a bit lethargic to me. But he knows the importance of this. 180. A third for Mr. Maximum. 63 in the tournament. Most importantly, though, puts him in the box seat to hold pro here and level the match up once more. It's another one, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. 85. <laughs> 95. Dave Uruguay, 136. 60, 60, double eight. That leaves tops nice just piece. about. These are the kind of holds of throw you want. You can get three clear at a double. 140. Damien Uruguay, 40. Games on the fourth lane. Welcome back to Sheffield for week 14 of the Premier League and it's Dave Chisnell against Raymond van Barneveld. All level through the opening four legs in a crucial match as both men chase a place in the top four. The last time Dave Chisnell played at Sheffield was 2015. And he had a perler of a night 
beat Gary Anderson 7 3 well, and James Wade 7 1. Played twice that night, obviously. There we see the league table as it stands. Van Fins Gerwen and Wright already through. Anderson will be through if he beats Wade. But here, the fifth and sixth players, Van Barneveld and Chisnell, looking to leapfrog Phil Taylor. Adrian Lewis beaten tonight. And out. Phil would love a draw here, wouldn't he? He'd be in the nice practice ball. room thinking, go on, fellas, carry on with all this level Teggins lark. Well, there are or is a sequence of results which would enable 24. Phil Taylor to lose twice and still qualify, yeah. bizarrely. I don't think he can rely on that. Does Barney leave 72 40. to come back to put his nose back in front for a third time in this contest? Yeah, Chizzy on the last throw just seemed to think about it. There was a, a slight opening. 100. He must have a poor score. Barney. There's the upper hand. 54. Dave Uruguay, 142. Oh, it wasn't that. For a 142! That is how you break throw, and that was the Same look of a dejected man. Game on. It's only a break of throw, Raymond. Look at that. Wow. It's not a contact sport, but that hurt. 140. One hundred. One hundred and twenty one. And 11. Wow. Well, Barnes isn't shoddy, is he? Sure, is it? 140. What a fanfare finish that was from Dave Chisnell. Certainly making a, a sprint for the playoff line, isn't he? Well, that will help Barney as he looks to battle back from losing the lead for the first time. It may not matter, and it won't if Dave Chisnell can hit tops with either of these next two. Or well, this one. 80. Yeah, the first 81. start was so high, it wasn't really a marker for him. Made it difficult. This is to break straight back, 12 or treble. Bullseye. 56. Dave Uruguay, 20. Well, the two darts he missed in the previous leg were significant. That may cost him another leg. And it has, yeah, so Chisnell now, 4-2 up. Some legs for Raymond to throw first. Game yeah, on. when Raymond missed the two darts at double eight, it doesn't matter whether you're playing Michael Van Gerwen or, or Phil Taylor, anyone. You think you're coming back when your opponent is on one 4 two. As Barney rattles in his third. It's three apiece. 96. Well, the first man to hit a nine dart finish in the Premier League will not 16. be the next man, will not on that throw in any regard. And the 180, only followed by 60, gives Chisnell a chance to get right back into this leg and look for the double break. Quality game, isn't it? Really is. Oh. 140. May see, see Dave switching away here. Started with the 19s. Looking for a little 171. 171. Oh Quiet, 121. 11 or treble. The single for Bull. 
96. He's closer. He's not in, though. 94. Will Dave go the 54 or bullseye? Double 18. You should have had this planned, Dave. Double 18. Wow. Double 8 now. 78. When you have won 25. How do you not have that planned in your mind, thinking if I miss? Well, Barney has right missed. He's back within a leg. Really has been an excellent match, and one of the intriguing features of it has been the number of times a missed start at double has been punished. 99. So it really underlined by the 142. You mentioned Wayne after Barney missed two at double eight, but after that, missed balls by Barney. 140. And then a missed start there at double eight for Chizzy, punished by Barney straight away. One seven ones, one seven sevens, one eighties. What more do you want? Don't say a nine data. One hundred. Yeah, clearly fancy the one forty, Dave. Probably the correct shot was a bullseye, but. 140. 125 it is. Well, 125. Well, he won't be doing the Harrington 45 tops, tops. Treble 20 now leaves tops. That leaves a great gaping opportunity for Van Barneveld now. 45. Because 80 well, may only give him one dart at double, even if Barney misses. Yeah, that was a horrible visit. 51. Bullseye, can he get it? Third 96. attempt, third Take miss. Really important visit coming up here for Dave Chisnell. 60 for double 10. 20 for tops. Tops then. Massive moment in the match. Will Barney be back? Yes, 60. he will. Well, it's been a case of no ball from Barney tonight. But can he clean up after the missed dart at the middle of the board, as he has done before? And he has done again. Levels, you devils. I think it's Raymond to throw first. Two 25 finishes back to back. They don't sound a lot, but they're the two dark combinations. If you can keep clearing them up, you're going to be a match for anyone. 103 average from Barney, 108 from Dave Chisnell. Superb match, especially with all the importance as well. Holding it together beautifully, the pair of them. Excellent contest still to come. James Wade against Gary Anderson, and then the main event of the evening. Michael Van Gerwen takes on Phil the Power Taylor. Van Gerwen and Wright are now battling out for top spot and the bonus money. Anderson, Taylor, Barneveld, Chisnell are contesting two remaining spots. Wade still has a chance. And it's a uh, Real long shot, he's got to win twice and win really big. Yeah, and hope that the other results go his way as well. 44. Full credit to Dave Chisnell because four or five weeks ago he was last of the eight and playing quite dreadfully. Turned that round because he believes in his ability. 121. Picked up the pace for a second, Barney. Got to switch away, Ray. 95 really 162, that's no good. 100. David Aguirre, 140. Well, I think Harriet is more concerned with Barney trying to take out the 157, the old son at the moment. 57. Anyway, two trebles required. Doesn't find the first of them, so Chizzy back to regain the lead. 99. Yeah, just been outscored in this leg, Raymond. 40. To take the lead and then throw for a potential point. Games on the ninth leg, Dave Chizzy. 109 Dave average. First. Game on. 
Dave will be looking to consolidate those five legs he's got with three big Four, old scores here to leave a double and wrap up at least the point. Well, I'll tell you what. He did real well to rear just for that third dart because the second was a real horror, wasn't it? Yeah. And then to just to blank it out of his mind, put the second or third dart along where the first was was a great visit from Chisnell in the end. 100. That's perfect for Raymond. 100. Only, only 100. What a big what time a to put in your fourth Easy. maximum to leave a hundred. Wow, and that will give him at least a point. One hundred. That would, one sorry, one Wayne, yeah, that will get him to 14 points, one behind Phil Taylor, and with every chance of going to 15. He's missed a few of these combinations. Can he nail one? No. Easy. He's missed 80, he's missed 100 twice now. OK, no drama, but you... You don't want to be coming back and going inside 10. 135. And remember, legs difference Andrew is so Watts important. 20. For a guaranteed point. Gage on the 10th leg. Them legs Six four it is, and Barney needs both the remaining on. legs to share the spoils. Chizzy just needs one of the remaining two, and it will put him up to 15 points. And as we've mentioned, 57. the most unlikely fight back to qualify for the semi-finals. Barney Light, really, in 2014, wasn't it? Remember that, Wayne? Yeah. Came from nowhere, didn't he? Well, Chisnell here, equally points. unlikely, because if he wins this match, he'll have picked up nine points in six weeks. Six matches, should I say. 95. Yeah, there's three draws in there. He's had darts to at least win two of those three. And I'll tell you what, with James Wade to play next week, who could well be 60. out of contention by then, Chisnell now, should he win this game, is odds on to reach the semi-finals. 140. Yes. And that would have been inconceivable half a dozen matches ago. Remarkable performance, or performances, consecutively. Yeah. Against the very, very best in the world as well. No easy draws in this, I'll tell you. 139. Xavier Aguirre, 167. 60, 57 ball. Well... 40 left. 87. Good last start, but Maybe Barney here can 70. get within one, and that will really put the pressure on Dave Chisnell. And it has done. And the reason I say that is that he's in a winning position. The three draws he's had in this sequence of unbeaten results, he was in a winning position in every single one of them. Well, against Gary Anderson, he had seven darts at a double to win the final leg. One hundred. Here we see Chizzy. He can win this leg. Be on fifteen points. One overtaken Barney. Phil Taylor is in the practice room thinking, come on, Raymond, you can draw. That's the best outcome for the power. 100. Well, there are blocker darts. 50 That's not a treble either. So, just a squeak here for Barney, who's been behind all the way through this final leg. Well, he held on to the first dart too long, released the first one too soon, that's why they were a bit of a mess. Pressure. If Dave could hit a 140 here, what a shot this would be. 100.
Shaking his head, RVB. 59. Dave Uruguay, 64. For the win. Double eight, and he has Vincent. one. And that Dave Chisnell. is a remarkable win for Dave Chisnell, averaging 109, and the unbeaten streak for Chizzy goes on. And now, with one week to play, Dave Chisnell is odds on to make the playoffs at the 0-2. What a run he's on. Wayne Marble, this match could be worth a quarter of a million pounds. But look, oh, he's getting rid of his bounce outs now, which is, uh, which is good for Gary. He's, he's won this twice before, as we know, the Premier League, so he knows that the first part of, of getting the Premier League won is qualifying for the playoffs, and then you take it from there. But as you quite rightly said, Dave, two points will, uh, will guarantee him a spot in London. But Wade's a spoiler. He won't want to see Gary Anderson get away with it. No, and the only way James can qualify is with two massive wins this week and beat Chizzy next week. It's highly unlikely. James just hasn't played that well. We, you're quite right in saying he's a spoiler as well, but James Wade on his day, we, we know he can beat anyone. It's just, he's not looked himself, he's not looked that confident this, this term for some reason. Cheers, Wayne. Sit back, enjoy the action with John Parr and Stuart Pike. With the beauty of this Premier League, expect the unexpected. And Dave Chisnell's Island fabulous run, run has given him a chance. James Wade can win his last two, yeah. and he still may yet qualify. The equation quite simple for Gary Anderson. Win, and he's in. Even a draw might be enough for Anderson. But it's in his own hands. Two points here against James Wade. And the two times Premier League champ returns to the 0-2 in a fortnight. Well, and let's remind you as well that should he fail in doing that tonight, his opponent next week is Michael Van Gerwen. So this is the time he needs to shine to take the pressure off. 100. Well, James Wade at the moment, bottom of the current table. 12 points. Gary Anderson. A seventh win. We'll see him on 18 points and safe for the semis. 140. But James Wade have beaten in his last four against Anderson. 100. Oh, we remember the last time they played in the Premier League. Wade, how on earth he didn't win? I'm sure he's still wondering. In Brighton, he was 5 1 up, wasn't he? Anderson somehow managed to conjure a 6 6 that draw. And that point may yet be absolutely crucial for him. Well, and. We see it on, on the day sometimes, within matches sometimes, this ability of Anderson's to turn his game on. And uh, once in a while he gets himself in a spot he can't get out of, but most times he knows when to play. 49, got a 84. Well, a chance here for Anderson. In the opening leg. Double 11. Well, he's a long way off, John. Yeah, he won't be too, too big a fan of that one. So now, 16 again for a chance at the ball. 57. Got it, you require 11. And a chance of break. With three and double four. You can't help but think this is important. Game showing the first leg. Gary Anderson. Second leg is Gary Welcome back to the Premier League from Sheffield, and it's the third match of the night. James Wade against Gary Anderson. Anderson has taken the first step in securing his place in the top four by taking the opening leg. He's broken the throw as well as we pick up the action at the start of the second. Well, Anderson won a Players' Championship 16. tournament last weekend and lost only 12 legs, John, in seven matches. 
uh, on the way. Beat Peter Wright in the final, beat Michael Van Gerwen in the last 16. They played each other, Anderson and Van Gerwen, on consecutive days. Van Gerwen won on the Saturday 6-4, Anderson on the Sunday by the same score. As you mentioned, Gary won't want to have to go into that match in Aberdeen against the world number one, needing to win to qualify. He wants to get the job done here in Sheffield. Yeah, because you have to believe Michael would love the opportunity to eliminate Gary before the finals night. 100. Well, Van Gerwen against Taylor to come. A win for Van Gerwen clinches top spot. Taylor desperate for a win to keep him in the race. 171, fantastic from Anderson. Perfect timing as well. Well, yeah, he, he's rescued his leg here, got control back. And a really Gary poor effort from Wade. Doesn't even have a finish, so Gary can do whatever he likes to set it up. 54. It was a poor visit from Wade, wasn't it? And he's still in the fives. That's better, but you feel it's too late to well, threaten this. Well, we shall see. Tops for Anderson. Now, this is crucial. Last out in hand, double two to win the opening leg, double five to win the second. Yep, every third dart he throws a double goes in. They'll be hoping he can break that pattern. 95. It was a key win for the Scots against Raymond van Barneveld last week in Birmingham, 105 average. But Barney looked nailed on, didn't he, for a playoff spot. Four defeats later, just goes to show what can happen in the latter stages of the Premier League. And as Dave Chisnell has proved, and beaten in six, three wins, three draws, and he's still in with a shout. Easy five. And, and Raymond, is, is to defend him, uh, he hasn't looked too bad. He's played pretty well. This match yet to really light up. And Gary hopes it stays four. that way. Well, Anderson just can't get anything going, can he? Well, Scoring wise, he's winning well, the legs fair. though. He wants to keep. If that keeps going, he'll be happy enough. He doesn't want it, uh, Wade to ignite. His scoring to ignite, and then his doubling. One hundred. Looks like he's had a very good chance of holding throw here though. This, this is better. 139, James Rukar, 108. Some trouble, 16 for tops. 72 left. So he stays there. 84. Well, must win leg for James Wade. 134. Three darts, double 12. Game shot on the third leg. Chase Wade. Only needed the one. He won. Yeah, key leg here for Gary. He wants to hold his throw. Doesn't want Wade to get momentum of the two legs on the trot. And then have throw. 100. He needed that. Just to get him going. To rescue his throw a bit, much like that 171 earlier. 114. Wade keeping in it. One hundred. Well, only a ton haven't left to finish. Ton would leave way to finish. 16. And Gerwin and Taylor to come. 
we thought about it and then left double 19 anyway well, we'll see where James gets to and he might fix it up might just what go for it can he require 38 looks like he's going right James at it showing the fourth leg Kelly Anderson feels like he seems to throw first he won it's not often that you can or would say that Gary Anderson's won his first three legs on double two, double five, and double 19. May not be at his best, but it's 3 1 up, still with a break of throw. Yeah, his doubling has not been convincing, although that time it only took him the one dart. 137. You feel that a, a run of four consecutive defeats earlier on in the piece has, has really cost James Wade. Still to come. Van Gerwen Taylor. 134. Finding no magic. I'm trying to defend his throw here. And a great attacking turn from Anderson. Finding his scoring prowess as well in the last couple of legs. 100. Can you record 90? Double ten. Great double play. ten for Anderson. Go 90 Anderson. finish. Like and it's first. another break for the Scot. He goes he four won. one up on James Wade. Yeah, just cruising. Well, there we have it. The 400 is up. In the Premier League for maximums in 2017. 16. Much more to come. Nice if he hit another. 114. Just not happening for James Wade at the moment. No, and this leg looks lost. 79. So the key, if there's any hope, is holding the throw next leg from 5 1 down. One hundred. Gary require one hundred and two. Gary looking rather automatic. Doesn't get the trouble 14 though. Does leave double ten. So to go five one in front. One hundred and forty. Can he reply twenty? Game show the six leg. Yeah, good Go dart from Anderson. Anderson. Like five one up. Well, tables turned in Brighton. Anderson came from 5 1 down to get a point against James Wade. Can, can Wade do the same here? You have to say at the moment, it looks unlikely, John. Yeah, after a particularly disheartening 60 score, your opponent just strolls in and gets the first two right in the treble. Well, that's a nice first dart. Fifty-nine. Well, so far James Wade had only two darts at a double, one at the ball, which he missed, one at double twelve, which of course he hit to win his only leg. Eighty-four. Fifty-five. 
frustration for both players, really. Well, he has. James looks right out of it, but he still has a chance in this leg, in any case. First to an out shot. Just enough to really threaten to take the leg away and get the six first. Oh, that's unlucky. Just next door in the treble five. 92. Gary Rapal, 124. Oh, that ruins that chance. So James Wade, 66. To take a second leg. Double 12. 42. Can't find it on this occasion. Wow. What a chance for Anderson. Gets another opportunity. Two missed darts at double ten. No score. James Newbar twelve. Double six. Don't think he'll miss this time. Ooh. Well, at least double one double then. One. <laughs> well, that's one you were right. Of, that's one way of taking out twelve. Welcome back to Sheffield, where Gary Anderson is well on his way to securing his place in the playoffs. He leads James Wade by four. This is now the seventh leg. Wade with the darts. Well, Anderson, you'd have thought when he had those initial darts at double ten, it was 6-1 and game over. Well, just not the sort of darts that are going to bother Gary Anderson against the row. And he punishes. Gallops away. Is this a first for Wade? Left one twenty four again. Yeah, he didn't do very well with it the last occasion, hitting the one the first start. He doesn't really need to take it here, so. You know, and sometimes you just lose the, the focus. Yeah. He hit the single one in the same place as well, John, as he did in the last leg. But a good second dart. 68. 140 here from Wade. Yeah. Puts pressure on Anderson here. Not hit tops yet. And he's not hit it again. It's amazing. He will be livid. And now Wade with throw. So he's only the one break down. And, you know, he still hasn't really started playing well. So when he does, that's even more pressure on Anderson. Oh, a bit of a spring in the step of James Wade here. 100. Could easily have been game over 7 1, but it isn't. He's been gifted an opportunity. Absolutely. And when that happens, you do yep. feel like you're playing with the house money. Well, Nothing to lose makes you play easily. We know Wade missed darts in the seventh leg, but Anderson missed four for 6-1. Two at tops, he missed for 6-2. 114. So his favourite double hasn't hit it yet. Wow. 
Tree. Just finding his range here, John. Yeah, looking much better. Really has risen to the occasion. <laughs> Gary Henderson is not amused at all. Double 12. And that's a chance that James Wade should not have given because Gary Anderson is great at that sort of thing. I think he's James Wade is fortunate Gary did not take that. Uh, this a let off for Anderson. Is he going to hit the double 12? And it is a let off for Anderson. James Wade got himself back into it and then missed five at double 12. Double trouble for both. But a precious point for Anderson. And now throwing for the victory, which will secure his semi final spot. And a decent start to the leg. Strange old game, John. Really has been as Anderson bangs in a fourth 180. Neither of them have looked comfortable. Yeah, well, you get the feeling in this leg, Anderson will be straight out. The, the danger has passed. But having said all that, in a situation like this, it, all that matters is the win. 95. To a certain extent, the performance doesn't. The win takes him to the 0-2. Well, he could get himself there with an 11 dart leg, maybe. 16. Double 16. 76. He'll be back. Yeah, he may have six in hand. 99. Gary requires 16. Double four. Double two. 12. James Rupert 116. Well, the craziness of this match could go, but. Can't get that first dart in. 85. He's already missed five match darts. But on the seventh match dart, Gary Anderson finally crosses the winning line. And the two times Premier League champion, Gary Anderson, secures the win, which takes him through to the semi finals. And we will see Anderson at the 0-2 on finals night in a fortnight's time. The world number one against the 16-time champion of the world. This could be a great way to round off the evening, John Park. Well, it should be. I can't imagine any way it won't be. Uh, Phil really needs some points. He, he can really essentially clinch, maybe. Get close to it anyhow for the win. Uh, and if he loses, he's in a really iffy spot. So Michael Van Gerwen, he'll relish the chance to try and uh, put Taylor in a bad spot and to also clinch first place. Crowd in great voice in Sheffield. Michael Van Gerwen whitewashed Adrian Lewis last week. Great form. Will, will Taylor be fearful of that? No, I don't think Phil cares what happened last week. All he cares about is tonight. He knows the job he has to do, and he did a really good effort in Rotterdam, and he may have lost his focus just a bit due to that magnificent crowd. Great crowd here in Sheffield as well. Let's get it on. Way more than Rod Studd in commentary. Yeah, thanks, Dave. It really is a buzz here in Sheffield. Make no mistake, this is still 
one of the big draw matches, not just in darts, but in sport. Michael van Gerwen, the undisputed king of the hockey, against Six, the eight. greatest dartist ever to grace the game. And can Phil Taylor turn it on and book a spot in the O2 finals and maybe a repeat meeting against Michael Whoa. van Gerwen? If he finishes fourth, that'll be almost a certainty, Wayne, won't it? That would be interesting. Yeah, Michael obviously still got to top the table. But with Phil Taylor, Michael Van Gerwen is not silly enough to know that oh, Phil's retiring, he's past it, he can't beat me. Phil Taylor can still beat any human being alive. But this is a real shoddy start 44. from Michael Van Gerwen. Phil, I know it's early days, but he's got to jump all over this. Jumping, that was more like hopping all over it <laughs> without any force. But he is in front in the leg. And a loose third dart from the Dutchman enables Taylor now to have the luxury of six darts to break Van Gerwen's throw in the opening stanza. Fifty-nine. Well, that's not what he was looking for. Michael Van Gerwen still firmly in this leg. This is how you turn it round. Oh my. From looking in total control of the leg, Phil Taylor now has to take out 120. Which he may well do. Top stand. Too high. And he'll know that really, having one dart at double there with three visits to the board. It was pretty shoddy, but it won't matter now to Phil Taylor because he's coming back for another three. And he's just as surprised as we are. Like this again, will he? Oh, will he? Double ten. Early nerves from the two best players that the world's ever seen. 1 0 Phil Taylor and a break of throw. Indeed. You've made the point many, many times over this Premier League season when you've made it quite clear that Phil Taylor can still play at his peak and mix it with the best of them. Witness the comeback from 0-4 to 7-4 against Gary Anderson, but it's the consistency, isn't it, yeah. that now he can't find. 97. Yeah, it used to be like some kind of automaton. Week in, week out, he would produce the yeah, goods to beat anyone. Just doesn't happen quite so often for him. Michael Van Gerwen has not averaged below 100 in any Premier League match so far this year. He's currently averaging 88. 130 ball. Well, the league table still in a state of flux. What we do know is that MBG, Snakey and uh, the Flying Scotsman will all qualify. In what order we don't know. Chisnell looking good to qualify. Along with Phil Taylor, those two at the moment likely to contest the final spot, although Barney can still have a say. And Taylor, the darling here, the Shepherd, as he has been on the whole starting circus over the uh, Premier League campaign, hasn't he? He's become more popular because they know it's their last chance to see him in the Premier League. Yeah, it's been like the 57. Phil Taylor farewell tour. Three players qualified so far, as you quite rightly said, Rod. 58. Gary Anderson, Peter Wright, Michael 92. Van Gerwen. They are numbers one, two, and three in the world. Was looking for 36, 36. 52. Sets it up. But the way he's playing so far, Michael Van Gerwen, that 40 is no gimme. Will be a match levelling attempt at double top. 100. Michael World number one. 40. And it goes, match all square. 
And Gerwin effectively chasing a point here to secure the Premier League. He has a 12-leg difference advantage over Peter Wright. 177. So theoretically, if he does end the evening two points clear, there could be some seismic shift in Aberdeen, but it's highly unlikely. 84. Yeah, an absolute odds on certainty to win the league phase for the fifth year running. Bit of a snatch there from MVG. You don't see that very often. Still, it's one, three, four. Yes, he'll trouser. Whoever finishes top will trouser twenty-five thousand pounds. Is that the bonus? One hundred forty. Yes, yes, it is. And the winner of the whole shebang, a cool quarter of a mil. Fifty-eight. Michael, the reigning champion, of course, who beat Phil Taylor. 11-3 in last year's final. Well, we've seen three scores of 177, but no 180s as yet. Oh, he was going for the old champagne shot there. Bull Bull to 16. Philly require 100. 60. Got to stay there. Brilliant marker. He did. Unlucky. 60. Well, well, double top then to lead for the first time. MVG. Yes, on the third leg. Michael Mannion. Well, he has not well, caught light over. just yet, but he Game still on. leads the power, having come from behind to lead 2 1. Yeah, the changes in Phil Taylor are quite plain to see. 85. And the one now that was, say, three or four years ago, maybe two years ago even. He broke throw, opening leg, and since then... 43. Just hasn't really anything of any note to put Michael Van Gogh under pressure, whereas back in the day, that's all he did was put you under pressure. 140. His throw is under pressure. 82. Even that last dart may not be enough to stem the flow because if Van Gerwen can put in a two treble or three treble visit, it'll be right on Taylor's tail. 136. Pressure still on Phil though. Two had a couple of trebles. Well, that helps. Here he goes, here he flows, and now the Taylor throw under maximum pressure. Normally 96 would suit, but only if he could put the first one beneath. He's never going to go double-double. Double 18 for double top. Brilliant finish! Welcome back to Sheffield for the concluding match of week 14 in the Premier League and it's an epic encounter between two of the game's greats, Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor. All level after the opening four legs, this is now the fifth. And that was off the back of a Michael Van Gerwen 180 as well as he starts the next leg with maximum. Brilliant finish from Phil Taylor. It's come alight! 140. Yeah, it was absolutely superb, because the double-double, whilst pragmatic, is something of the 100. flamboyant finishing from the modern dart player, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's the best way to go for that. You want to go for the biggest targets available to you. The kind of thing if a impertinent young whippersnapper named Mardle had done it in an Essex hostelry 20 years ago, <laughs> he may have well found himself being asked to accompany his opponent outside. Clip around the ear off. Mm. 
Good leg here, though, from Michael Van Gerwen. He's left 88 after nine darts. To regain the advantage. 60 for 28. Bullseye. 63. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. No, I'm kidding. 61st start. I'd love to see it, though, wouldn't you? And he's matching against Michael Van Gogh in Rotterdam for a total win for three bullseyes. Double eight. Wow. Now then, a little awkward for the world champion. Nine Too awkward four. for the world champion. Mm. Can the power pounce? Some tune, he leads 3 2. Do you know what? Game Phil on. Taylor here now playing his 205th Premier League match. Been there since the start, 2005. 205 matches. He's won 140 of the previous 204. And he looks to add another notch to the belt. Looking for another. Four perfect darts. Oh. Michael Van Gerwen had a nine dart leg on the tour, didn't he, at the weekend? But Taylor still tops the table for televised nine darters. 84. Michael Van Gerwen's five previous matches at this venue, the Sheffield Arena, have resulted in five wins. He's going to need to improve to pick up another here. As Phil Taylor, it's his second 180 in this leg. To leave a possible 11 dart finish. As he zones in on double eight, double 16, sorry. And in it goes. 11 data for the power. Three straight legs. Well, we've seen Van Gerwen in a pickle on a couple of recent occasions in the Premier League. Peter Wright had him on the ropes at 5 1, and Dave Chisnell had him on the ropes at 5 2. Neither could convert. But even the great Michael Van Gerwen cannot keep going back to the well and giving opponents hefty starts. Well, I allude to that game in Rotterdam again, where Phil Taylor got off to a blistering start. He's leading 3-0, I believe. And then there was a mini capitulation as Michael got better, as Phil got worse. 46. Michael Van Gerwen somehow averaging 102. Just hasn't, he just hasn't looked good at all. He's looked quite ragged. One hundred and forty. Michael Ewan, one hundred and twenty-eight. Well, that leaves the ball. Well, he goes for it, despite having no necessity so to do. And quite unlike him as well. Mm -hmm. Taylor puts in a 140. 140. Plus 25 suddenly looks a little bit more tricky. Doesn't it, Michael? Well, he's missing double after double. He's had 11 at the outer ring and only hit two. If this goes in, Michael Van Gerwen is in real trouble. Double 15. What a finish from Phil Taylor. The combinations Phil has taken out, the 96 was sublime, a 52 Hang and on. now a 90. They are combinations that when you're in 180s as well, averaging a ton, you're going to be difficult to do business with. Well, for the third time recently, Van Gerwen in trouble. Eventually, he rallied at Liverpool against Peter Wright, and he rallied 
in Birmingham against Dave Chisnell to dig himself out of a hole. From the brink of defeat. A scenario similar. But this time, his opponent is the 16 times world champion. 94. If Phil Taylor can accumulate seven legs and two points, it'll be all but in at the 0-2. His legs difference will be better than anyone else's that can take that third or fourth spot. He's putting himself in such a good position. Look at him. The slightest smile creeping across Phil Taylor's features. Be a broad grin if he can nail that. Well, 60. that's not that bad. He missed outside twice. He'll come back for three at 24. Far from catastrophic. 93. Philly Rebar, 24. For a point. Double six. Good double normally for Phil Taylor. Games on the eighth day. Bolton. A point for the power. At least. Well, he celebrates in style. He's loving it. As well he might. Well, if he wins from here and goes to 17, he'll eliminate for sure Van Barneveld and Lewis and Wade, and it would only be Chisler could catch him, and that would need something remarkable to happen in Aberdeen. It'd need a whopping win for Dave Chisler and Phil One Taylor minute. to get hammered by Lewis, but he's got to keep his foot down because Van Gerwen has come back from improbable situations before. Yeah, but like you said, 81. Can't keep doing it. You cannot keep getting away with it. Mind you, so good, probably you can. Oh, it's, you keep playing darting Russian roulette. And in the end, the outcome will be unfavourable. 85. 41 here, though, 41. with so much time, it's just not funny. Double 16, it's your first it's dart. Nine, yeah, and it, he'll be frustrated right even though he's hit it because so, so many times he's missed when it first. really mattered. Yeah, it is annoying. Phil Taylor knows this is his leg. He's thrown first, he has a massive advantage. And plows in two big trebles. Also, you've got to think about the top of the table. What this does for Peter Wright gives him a chance to top the league. Yeah, good point. Next week, Michael Van Gerwen is playing Gary Anderson. 134. Peter Wright is playing Raymond Van Barneveld. That could decide who tops the table. But Phil Taylor now closing in. Closing in on a massive win in every possible 100. sense. Billy Reguile, 103. Treble 20. 11. 32. 71. For a 7-3 win over Michael Van Gerwen. That is the 32. Phil Taylor wraps up a memorable victory over the world number one world champion and Premier League champion Michael Van Gerwen. Phil Taylor, at the age of 55, averages 100, beats Michael Van Gerwen 7-3 and all but cements a place at the 0-2 in London. He's in the driving seat once again.
crucial win for Phil Taylor, who increases the gap between himself and the chasing pack. A win for Dave Chisnell certainly applied the pressure. Chizzy going up to fifth, but Taylor remains the man to beat. And that win takes him to 17 points with just one match to go. Confirmation of all the scores from week 14. Wright a winner over Lewis. Chisnell impressive against Van Barneveld. Gary Anderson with the win, and now joining him in the winner's circle, Phil Taylor, who's now talking to Dave Clark. The reception you got here, Phil, was fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just looking at Bob, because Bob told me I qualified. I'm going to do you when I got to the stage. <laughs> as good as qualified. I don't know, I forgot Lewis 7-0. If Aidy beats me 7 0, I'm going to kill. I know where he lives, so I, I don't <laughs> he won't beat me 7 0. What did it feel like when you came out? They're, they're calling it your was, name. It's like, it like the old days. It was surreal for me. This, this is one of the best venues I've ever played in, anyway, in Sheffield. I can remember. Because. You know, what, what, there was a show a few years ago called My Kind of People. These are my kind of people. The, the working class, exactly the same as me, the down to earth. They pay the money and they come out to enjoy themselves and you can't, you can't get any better than this, can you? And for me, this has been my last time in Sheffield on stage, so it can't get any better than this, it can't. With the O2 just two weeks away... And even it's Michael Van Gogh and his dad stayed up <laughs> it's, it's a massive boost for you beating the world number one, the governor of Darts at the moment. It was, it was a strange game, really. I played Michael last weekend and, and, I, and I didn't feel any fear of him. And, and this week I didn't feel anything for him, do you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not being disrespectful, but I just thought I might as well enjoy it. If I make the O2, I make the O2. If I don't make the O2, it's not the end of the world, really. You know, I've won it five times, whatever, so... But when you're relaxed, you seem to be more relaxed up there. It's ever so weird. Instead of just pushing them a little bit, you're more relaxed and you can enjoy it a bit more. You, you watch next week in Aberdeen, there'll be some fantastic averages. Aidan Lewis will play out his skin. I think Chiz will play out his skin. James Wade will play out his But they, they're more relaxed now. It's been a great Premier League. It would be a, a fitting way to round it off with a, a Phil Taylor victory in London. I would love London. it, I would love it. I, I listen, I'm not going to bank on it. Listen, it's, it's harder for me now than it's ever been. You know what I mean? The age that I am, the dedication. I can't seem to put the dedication in like I used to do. The schedule, I mean, I don't even do the schedule that these young players do. When I say young, some of them are in the 40s. It's a tough, tough game now. Barry has created a monster, trust me. He's making everybody mega, mega wealthy, he is. But it's difficult to do at the same time, you know. When, when, you do, when you've been doing it for 30 years, it's time. Do you know what I mean? And when you're, when you're 56 years old and you're in a practice room with young kids, it's different. You know, it's not the same anymore. My generation, Zedek Bristow, John Lowe, Jockey Wilson, Big Cliff, do you know what I mean? They, have, they were household names in them days, so, and they still are. So it, it's, it's different, it's, it's all different. It's all changed. iPhones and, I don't, I don't understand <laughs> what. Half the time, they're on about Instagram, or whatever, I haven't got a clue what they're talking about. <laughs> but it must still give you a, a massive buzz when you beat Van Gerwen on have, a big I, stage yes, like this. Yes, of course I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to, to play Michael and beat him, it's like, <laughs> no, it's like Ronnie O'Sullivan at the minute beating, beating Mark Selby, do you know what I mean? It's a massive buzz and it, and it can happen, of course it can. You, there's, there's two people throwing three darts and, he, and a couple of times he went for the wrong shot. He, he went for the bullseye where he should have left the double. He, know, he knows that. That's a little bit trying to get in my head a little bit. And it's, I think in a way it's showing a little bit of disrespect for me, if that makes sense. So he, I don't mean that, that he wants to hurt my feelings, he just wants to get in my head a little bit because I'm in front. The O2 just around the corner, Aberdeen next week, it's always a special I'm atmosphere. I'm not there yet, I've got to play Aid yet, so I'm not going to bank on anything, I'm going to go home. I've got a little show to do for Werner Ladders on Monday at uh, Tamworth, and then it's head down and get ready for Aberdeen. Go out there, take a bow, ladies and gentlemen, 16 time Sheffield. world champion, Thank Phil you. the Power Taylor. One more round of matches to go and another mouth-watering lineup. Dave Chisnell, looking to make it seven games unbeaten, faces James Wade. Phil Taylor needs to avoid a heavy defeat against Adrian Lewis. Peter Wright faces Raymond Van Barneveld. 
And finally, Michael Van Gerwen takes on Gary Anderson in the Betway Premier League of 2017.